ಟಿವಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರೋ ನಾವು ನಿಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗೆ ರೋಟರಿ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ದರ್ಪಣ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ಯಾಟ್ಸನ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿಯ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಭವನದಲ್ಲಿ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಶಿಬಿರವನ್ನು ಆಯೋಜನೆ ಮಾಡಲಾಗಿತ್ತು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ದೀಪ ಬೆಳಗಿಸುವ ಮೂಲಕ ಚಾಲನೆ ನೀಡಲಾಯಿತು ಬಳಿಕ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಕಾಣಿಕೆ ನೀಡಿ ಸನ್ಮಾನಿಸಲಾಯಿತು ಈ ವೇಳೆ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಕೆ ತೇಲ್ಸಂಗ್ ಅವರು ಆರೋಗ್ಯವಂತ ಮಹಿಳೆಯರು ಹಾಗೂ ಪುರುಷರು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಹದಿನೆಂಟರಿಂದ ಅರವತ್ತು ವಯಸ್ಸಿನ ಒಳಗಿನವರು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಎಂಎಲ್ ಆರರಿಂದ ಎಂಟು ಅವಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳಲಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ಮೂರು ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೊಮ್ಮೆ ಪುರುಷರು ಹಾಗೂ ನಾಲ್ಕು ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೊಮ್ಮೆ ಮಹಿಳೆಯರು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೋಗ ಇರಬಾರದು ಒಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಿ ಮೂರು ಜನರ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಉಳಿಸಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಸಿದರು ಬಳಿಕ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದ ಶರದ್ ಕೌಟಿಗಿಮಠ್ ಅವರು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜನರು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಜಗತ್ತಿನಾದ್ಯಂತ ರಕ್ತದಾನದ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇದೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಮೂರು ಜನರ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಉಳಿಸಬಹುದು ಸಹಕಾರ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಶೋಕ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಅವರ ಸಾಧನೆ ಅನನ್ಯ ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಸಿದರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ದೇವೇಗೌಡ ಅವರು ಮಾತನಾಡಿ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ಸೇವೆಯಾಗಿದೆ ನಾವು ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಅದು ಸಹಾಯ ಆಗಲಿದೆ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಲವತ್ತೆಂಟು ಗಂಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಮತ್ತೆ ದೇಹದಲ್ಲಿ ರಕ್ತ ಸಂಗ್ರಹ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಲಿದೆ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಲು ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಸಕ್ಷಮ ಆಗಿರಬೇಕು ಅವಶ್ಯವಾಗಿ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಸಿದರು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಯಾಗಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪುಷ್ಪ ಎಂಜೆ ಅವರು ಮಾತನಾಡಿ ಅಪಘಾತಕ್ಕೆ ಒಳಗಾಗುವ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗೆ ಸರಿಯಾದ ಸಮಯಕ್ಕೆ ರಕ್ತ ಹಾಕಿದರೆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯ ಪ್ರಾಣಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಹಾನಿಯಾಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿಮ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹನ್ನೆರಡುನೂರಿಂದ ಹದಿನೈದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ರಕ್ತ ಹಾಕಲಾಗ್ತದೆ ಆದರೂ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ರಕ್ತದ ಪೂರೈಕೆ ಆಗುತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಒಬ್ಬ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಮೂರು ಜನರ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಉಳಿಸಬಹುದು ಜನರು ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪ್ರೇರಿತರಾಗಿ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪ್ರೇರಿತ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರೇರಣೆ ಆದರೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡಲು ಬರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮಹಿಳೆಯರಿಗೆ ಹೆರಿಗೆ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ರಕ್ತದ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಆರ್ಟಿಎಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ರಕ್ತದ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇರಲಿದೆ ರಕ್ತದಾನ ಮಾಡುವುದರಿಂದ ರೋಗಗಳು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗಲಿವೆ ಹಳೆಯ ರೋಗಗಳು ಇದರಿಂದ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗಲಿವೆ ರಕ್ತದಾನದಿಂದ ಹೃದಯ ರೋಗ ಸಂಬಂಧಿ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಗಳು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗಲಿದೆ ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಸಿದರು ಈ ವೇಳೆ ಅನಿಲ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕೆ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಆಶಾ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ವಿನಯ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿ ರೂಪಾಲಿ ಜನಜಾ ಸೇರಿದಂತೆ ಮತ್ತಿತರರು ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿದ್ದರು giving an opportunity to conduct blood donation camp so i'll be talking about some points who should give the blood and who should not give the blood uh, blood donation is an unparalleled act of service towards humanity it is a service for excellence because the only source of blood which is a life saving measure for the needy is a healthy voluntary donor who can donate blood any healthy person both male and female between a age group of 18 to 60 can donate blood what are the health care criteria for the blood donor minimum weight should be 45 kg pulse should be normal that is between 60 to 100 blood pressure should be systolic between 100 to 170 diastolic 80 to 100 hb should be minimum 12.5 g how much blood is present in my body and how much quantity of blood is taken from my body an average healthy person thank you and uh, all thank you for inviting today i would like to congratulate patson uh, chits and Rotary, Rotary Club of Belgaum Durban as well as uh, Belgaum Blood Center and Diagnostic Laboratory and the Vigada Hospitals. As we all know, blood donation is a noble cause and uh, I hope that and I hope and pray that there are more and more entries today for the blood donation because every unit of blood that is donated is used to save at least three lives as we all know and uh, i would like to congratulate mr anil patil for his achievement of uh, the sarkar ratna award it is only and only because of his uh, hard work and excellence thank you a very good morning to everyone uh, respected dignitaries on the dais and all the patson crew and all the volunteers and rotary club members who are present here today uh, i would like to take a few moments to have an interaction with you first of all thank you for inviting me here as a chief, chief guest thank you thank you ma'am thank you sir uh, it's a it's a great pleasure to interact
also a forensic expert working in wills. I, I wanted to share few stories, uh, though not as a chief guest lecture, just in my experiences. So just yesterday, we encountered two different types of cases. I, I know you will not be hearing such stories uh, very frequently. One thing was a 25-year-old uh, guy who was traveling from Mari Hall to uh, Belga on bike. Suddenly, he went with an accident. He collapsed. Everybody moved there and uh, he was brought to a hospital. On the way, he has called everybody, his relatives, his friends. We got many calls from various doctors also. He was okay for the first one hour. He was talking on the phone to everybody and then uh, he was brought to the hospital and within 10 minutes he just collapsed and he expired. So we, 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 did, we conducted the post-mortem and we saw that his spleen was ruptured and there was around 2 litres of blood in the cavity. There was no head injury, no other major fractures, nothing. It was just a trauma to the abdomen. The emphasis here is it is a minor fall from bike, he had got some minor injury. Everybody was concentrating, usually what happens, we concentrate on the head and other major fractures. We are worried about only those things. We see those things and if nothing is there, he is stable. But if he had a chance, in the, or if we had a chance to transfuse the blood in that one hour or two hours, immediately we just push the blood of three bottles, three pints to him probably would have survived. His family would have seen him the next morning still. So, uh, this is one thing where very emergency, they will not know, will not know, there will be some injuries inside the body, but the only treatment is blood. Nothing else except blood. The second case is uh, uh, one of my own colleague. She, she is also a doctor. She was on a very strict diet. She is a mother of two kids. Uh, she apparently was on a diet conscious, full exercise mode, everything. She was running around and accidentally in our own hospital, she slipped two stairs. She slipped two stairs and her ankle got twisted. And uh, suddenly she was admitted. We saw that her both leg bones were fractured very badly. She just slipped two stairs. She hasn't fallen. She has not had any RTA or anything. She's just slipped. And both her bones were fractured and uh, we had to take her for OD but when we checked her, her blood was 5.5 grams. We couldn't take her to OD because she needed at least another 3 to 4 grams of blood even to take her into the OD. So we had to arrange for the blood emergency, in, in emergency and we, then we had to treat her to the cause. So these two are some of the cases where we face uh, what is the urgency of the blood, need of blood. So what is actually the statistics? We have uh, blood banks in our hospital, we have blood banks in private. Uh, you all might be thinking today, yes, we will be giving 100, I think that will be sufficient for the next three months. No, uh, it is not at all sufficient actually. What we have, even though we have a 24 into 7 blood bank. Here in BIMS, I will just give a rough statistics. Every month, we, we give around 1200 to 1500, uh, 1500 pints of blood every month. In India, every second, one pint of blood is required to be transfused. So that's the rate which has been given by our uh, statistical department and also the WHO. So that's the rate of requirement of blood in India and also in Malaga. So, out of the entire uh, 1200 to 1500 which we are distributing, many a times even we in shortage of blood. So, what happens? So, almost 900 people is in our own hospital. That's the burden which we are facing. And rest of it, yes, we do share it to other hospitals and other uh, uh, banks, blood banks. So, where is it going actually? I think uh, everybody on the dais is already elaboratively spoken about what, how to be done, who can be given, what is the uses, advantages, etc. Yes, each person when you donate a blood, minimum three people can be uh, saved. Three people, it can be utilized for three different people up to one year, especially the plasma can be utilized up to one year. So what happens like after, uh, but suppose one of your family member, it, our own family member gets into an accident like this, even though there are 10 people standing, 
if they voluntarily want to donate, unless the blood bank has the store, even if you want to donate, you cannot save that particular person. So the thing is, it has to be in circulation. Somebody else gives today, that will be used to our patient. We give today, it will be utilized to another patient after two days or after three days after it is being processed. So that's the importance of this particular circulation which we need to have. And that is why these camps, such camps are very much required to our society. We have to pull it and then only we can distribute it to the needy. Otherwise, it will be very difficult in the time of emergencies. If the blood bank doesn't have the stock, the treated stock or the uh, all the ready ready stock of blood, then it is of no use even if there are 100 people standing outside the hospital ready to donate. So that's the importance of such camps because these voluntary donation will improvise the collection, will improvise the needy, will improvise, uh, also it decreases the scarcity of uh, such things in emergency cases which is very required for the hospitals. Whatever the blood we are donating, what, what is the major bulk, where does it go? The first most which we are distributing, I am just quoting the part which we are doing, it goes to the first in the list in India, in Karnataka, is to the pregnant mothers. They are requiring the most, the demand for them is the most, first. The second is all the RTS, third, anemia and other medical disorders, fourth, cancer patients, elective surgery patients which uh, are required, which ask for the, from the blood banks. And fifth comes the other blood disorders and other, all other group which constitute to the total bulk. So this is the hierarchical level of the blood demand which comes from the blood bank and also from the hospitals. So the first two, the pregnant mothers and the RTAs which we are concentrating, both are quite, quite crucial and it is very much required for us to help stabilize them, treat them and also uh, contribute to the blood banks. So what, what is, is the importance, advantages is everybody has told. See, our body is like a machine unless you... Everybody, respected dignitaries on the dais, uh, our uh, Rotary Club Darpan team, Pats and Chips team, Sri Artho team, we are all gathered here. Everything about blood, the Dr. Tielsen sir has told, blood donation, why we have to do, when we have to do, what and what are the precautions. But being an orthopedic surgeon, trauma surgeon, being in a working in a hospital. What we have seen, blood is required for hospital all the time. In case of emergencies, when patients come with injuries, a road traffic accident, they will be bleeding. When we check, blood will be somewhere 5, 6, 7. Definitely emergency, they need blood. It might be our relatives, it might be our friends, parents, friends, parents, social cause. We don't know when emergencies and blood is required immediately, we need to arrange it. We have seen four, five, six, up to ten bloods we have given. The importance of blood donation comes when we are at the emergency door of hospital. So it's a social concern plus it's a personal concern. When the person, a family member is in the hospital, it might be surgery, it might be emergency when they need blood, then only we remember what is the value of blood given by the people, donors and the blood banks who are working 24 hours for the safety of our lives, then only we realize. And the NGOs like our Rotary Club and many NGOs are trying hard to collect the blood. Why? What is the purpose? Purpose is this. When we need blood, we relatives need blood, friends and friends' parents need blood. At that moment, we need collected blood in the blood bank. And nothing goes wrong by giving blood. We will be regenerated. Means the blood, whatever we give 300 to 400 ml, it is regenerated within 48 hours. 
whenever there is a fast reservation in the uh, blood in the body, the activation of the system occurs and it, it, all the impurities are gone and many advantages are there. It is called regeneration. They are the highest blood uh, generation in the bone marrow what happens. It is the highest capable of uh, producing many blood cells and many other uh, important factors. So I request I want, I want to motivate all the staff here, whoever are, 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 are coming here and all the staff of our, of our hospital and the students. When you are eligible, without seeing anything, we need to donate blood and join the cause. We all will join this cause and save many lives. Thank you. I thank uh, Rodrik uh, Darpan. And uh, President and Secretary, Madam, for inviting me. And uh, thank you very much, Madam. Thank you. Thank you. Ivatina Dina now Rotary Club of Belgam Darpan. Uh, in the uh, blood donation camp uh, organized Madi Devi um, Gandhi Bhavan uh, Sanman Hotel backside Gandhi Bhavan Ali. So in association with Belgam Blood Bank, uh, Jotege Patson Cheats Private Limited, Patson Multipurpose Sava Sarkari, Sri Artho, Elru Kudina Vili blood donation camp uh, organized Madi Devi. So more than 100 uh, staff Namdu Ili blood donate uh, Mado Ivat uh, today now target on it Kondi Devi. So Donate the blood and save life. Idna helik baistin yallargu. Because of ivatin din dalii tumba jana accidents wado yalla akta irate. Aur yalla blood beka girete. Ad kos kara na ivatin din na idhon the program na organize madi divi. Now every year through nam Patson Company hago Rotary inda idhon the collaborate agi na blood donation camp na marta idivi. Idhon nam the moorne varsha na idhna marti rado. So thank you, thank you everyone. TV24 Pro, now in Mundige.